Now I am proud to say that all of Idaho's living governors stand with me in support of my veto on these bills. Governor Phil Batt, Senator Jim Risch, also a former governor, have provided statements of support. In addition, Governor Butch Otter is here with me today and Governor Dirk Kempthorne will offer some words remotely. First, Governor Kempthorne. Governor Little, Governor Otter, today I'm proud to join my fellow governors in total support of the action which you are about to take, Governor Little. When we became governor, we all take the oath of office. And included in that oath is that we will support the Constitution of Idaho. And the Constitution makes it very clear the responsibility of the executive branch of this government, of the governor. Including in those situations that may be emergencies. Those situations that are unanticipated, unexpected. But when they do happen, and they do, somebody needs to take action and make the tough decisions. And it is the governor that is required to do that in our Constitution. There are those situations that may well exceed 60 days. I certainly experienced that uh, with fire seasons when I was governor. Does it make sense that somehow on the 60th day that a governor would be precluded from making those tough, hard decisions? It's not unusual during disasters that the governor is at the scene of the incident with the incident commanders. It was not unusual to have incident commanders leadership turn and say, Governor, we need a decision. And they need a decision immediately. That is not the time that a governor should say, I'll get back to you. I must check with the legislature. Governor, thank you for the action you're taking today. It is the correct action. It shows your leadership. And let me also say, as a father and a grandfather, on behalf of my family and families throughout Idaho, thank you for taking this action so, so that you have affirmed that as our governor, you'll make those tough choices and to the extent possible, mitigate what these disasters can do to our fellow Idahoans. Thank you, Governor. 